Hey guys, welcome back to the outpost. It's a little bit overcast today, so I thought I would switch gears and come outside and take advantage since it's not so hot. Um, these are the corner pieces that go up in against my post and beam um, as part of the trim. And routering these out is something that's got to be done outside because it creates such a mess. So I'm going to get busy and see how many of these I can knock out.
Well, what I did was is I made a base um, to pour concrete to. Um, I'm going to have to move this stove real soon, uh, hopefully this weekend, and I'll set that base in here. I'll go ahead and just to take up some space, I've got some concrete blocks I'll kind of place in the middle and I will pour around those and inside of them and then of course on top of them, but that will take up a bunch of space. Um, I don't really have any spare rocks. Um, I've got the rocks that I've got been doing the cabin with, but I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, so I'll save those, but I've got some block and they're not too expensive, so I'll kind of fill it up before I pour that. But I'm going to make it 10 inches high, which is just a little bit higher than this right here. And um, then I'll have a base to lay my rock to and come up the sides and go across the top. And then, of course, the back right there. But that's all in preparation for winter, although we're a little ways away from winter. But fall is not far away. And uh, the nights will be getting cooler, so probably in about six or eight weeks um, we're going to need to start building a fire at night so I need to go ahead and get this done so that's what this box is for and the reason I screwed them is so that I can unscrew it and take it apart easily but um, yeah I'm excited about the cooler nights getting here and uh, being able to build a fire at night
if you're new to this channel, what I'm doing is I'm making my own trim. Um, I call it wildwood trim because it's crooked. It's the slab wood from all of the milling that I have done. And I figured that since it was crooked, and I built a lot of crooked structures up here, um, that it would look really good as trim, which would be pretty much non-conventional because I don't think I've ever really seen anybody do that before. But um, not saying that it hasn't been done. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to leave it somewhat rough. Um, but what I did do is I took that grinder um, and I ground down a lot of the knots and then I took the sander and I just kind of buffed you know, the high places in there. But I want it to still have that rustic look, so I don't want it too fine. Um, but anyway, the next step is to uh, burn it, and then I've got some timber oil that I'm going to put on it. But I've also got some more around the corner. Let me show you that. These that I have here are much longer pieces, so I couldn't stack them up underneath the front porch. But these three right here have already been burned. Um, which, you know, I'm not burning them too much because when I put the oil on, I want a lot of different color uh, to come forth. Um, but these three I have yet to do, and I'm letting them... It rained pretty hard last night, so I'm letting those dry out somewhat. Um, but what I'm doing, you know, again, is I'm stockpiling my trim because uh, fall is getting here and on rainy days... Um, that's something that I can do on the inside provided that I go ahead and, and get them, you know, burned. If it was raining, I can always put them up underneath the front porch, put the oil on them, take them in there and put them up. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's why I call it wildwood trim because it's crooked and knotty. Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I just wanted to say that you know, once you get inside, um, you get the outside done and you get inside, things seem to slow down a little bit because you've got all this little fine detail work that you've got to do. But it's all got to be done nonetheless. And I managed to get um, that other venting put in, the insulation put in, so that when the guys have time, they can come up and help me put up some more sheetrock because that's something I really can't do by myself. But once I got that done, then I'll have half the house done I can start on this front half. Um, getting ready to start on the fireplace too, that was uh, something that was exciting because I know that I'm going to need it here uh, pretty soon. But anyway guys, I just want to say that my son, my daughter and I, we really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us while we're working up here at the cabin. Thank you so much for all of your support on both of our channels actually. If you're new here to this channel, go check out Outpost Review because that's a behind the scenes vlog on what we're doing up here. Um, this is more of the work, uh, a lot less talk, and you know, like I say, a more peaceful watch of just the building and so forth that's going on up here at the homestead. Also, be sure and go to our website and check out information because we do giveaways on both channels and you can find all the details there. Also, towards the end of the video, I'll have some icons pop up. If you want to watch more of the building, you can watch the latest video on Smoky Mountain Outpost if you click the top left-hand corner. And if you want to watch uh, some of the Outpost review, the most recent one there, you can click the bottom left-hand corner. Again, guys, thanks for stopping by. We hope everyone has a great day. You all take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.